I'll go first. Hello, um, I'm Frankie, and this is Dave, aka Snake Oil, for some reason. And we are in the band Frankie and the House Strings. Why Snake Oil? Yeah, why Snake Oil? Well, Snake Oil does what Snake Oil wants to do, to yeah, be honest. It's it's just, um, we, we, we decided when we were away before we need to have some street punk names. So there's, I'm, I'm pretty much later. Snake Oil, we have um, Closet. Um, we've got, we've got Stetson, Stetson, Meds, Fruit, fruit Juice. juice. Yeah. And, um, Raj Packets. Raj Packets in the Egyptian prescription. Yeah, we've, we've all got street. Fruit Juice. Nah, he's, he's, he's a bitch. Ki he's kind of, fruit Juice is kind of like our, our spider from Goodfellas. He's going to get there one day, like, yeah. he's still a bitch. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's still quite a, a new band. Is this going to be your first summer playing at uh, festivals? Um, it's not. It's going to be our second summer. I mean, we had quite a lot of, um, I guess, like interest last year. So we were lucky enough to get on some pretty good festival bills, you know, and um, without even having a record out. But now we have a record out. We'll be doing them, and people will hopefully know our, our music and know of us a little bit more. So it'll be good to play the big ones and have people singing along. So, uh, which festivals are you playing? Which ones are you looking forward to the most? Um, we're playing Red and the Leeds again, uh, festival for the first time, really looking forward to playing that. Um, we're doing one called Hop Farm, it looks like a really good fun. Um, we're doing loads, we're, uh, we're doing like a European tour, uh, of, we're doing a tour of Holland so sorry, next week, and then a few UK dates, and then after that we're pretty much doing festivals every weekend up until September, you know, so um, it should be fun, you know, and playing festivals I've never heard of. Since we new festivals springing up each year, but it's, it's, it's I love the festival vibe. I love it. Last year, which is going to be like I'm yeah, we're playing U about that. European festivals for the first time. You know? Can't pronounce half of them, but it's going to be good fun. It's last year, it's easy. Yeah, last year. How is it different playing festivals to your own to your own shows? Yeah. Like the crowds are responsive. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's more up for a party at a festival. You know, I don't know if it's because if they've been drunk for three days, or you know, or they haven't got to think about work in the morning. But it's just a lot more fun, isn't it? I think the big difference is. Like like um, going from playing like the, the shit at arms one night to playing like seven and a half thousand people in Redden last year. The difference is the stains on your trousers when you walk out generally like like I didn't see that coming last year. Like we we done that thing, have you heard of hype? It's in there, yeah the media do it. We got caught up in that like um, last year. Like before we had a record or anything, and now we, we, we're waiting for the payback this yeah. year's festival season. So yeah, you were uh, tipped to do uh, well at the beginning of the year. Your album's been out, it was out in February, right? Yeah. Uh, are you happy with the progress you're making, and like, how do you gauge it? The, the process of making music, or how well how well it's going, or how well do you feel? It's going? Um, well, I guess you know we're on an independent label and got number thirty-two in the top forty. That's a really good gauge as to how well we're going down. You know, it's a, I was more happy for the label than I was for myself. You know, because they believed in us from a you know a long time ago, and now a couple of years, and it's paid off. And we can just continue to you know play the songs and play in front of people who haven't seen us before. And I'm quite confident that when we do play in front of an audience, you know the people in the, in the crowd do become fans of ours and that's surely down to you know 100% live performances you know and, and I've just brought your pen sorry. <laughs> So, let's go back to touring. Uh, what's the strangest experience you've had on the road so far? Hamburg. Mm. You can answer this. Oh yeah. <coughs> we're in uh, Hamburg the other weekend where we're staying in uh, just off the Reaper Barn, which is a, a dark, dark place. Like, yeah, it's grim, isn't it? But it's uh, we stayed there. We're hanging out the the window, taking in none of the sights that were available, and we saw um, what can only be described as a gimp in a gimp mask and a, a rubber thong being walked on all fours by his master and then followed by a man being filleted in the middle of the street the next day which was we've, we've seen some extreme odd things I mean it was, it was completely odd it was like 3D porn it was amazing we saw some and we saw a, a dildo with pubes on which I quite liked yeah I mean I definitely definitely didn't buy it yeah <laughs> mum your mum's going to be your mum yeah okay uh, let's come back to Cams and Cruel uh, when are you playing and where we are playing tonight which is Saturday um, 7 15 at Kentish Town Forum. What was that? Six? Maybe it is. Thank you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Whichever way you look, I'm going to be having a game of yeah, before yeah. I'm after. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, is there anyone else playing the call that you can recommend or to yourself? Go to a bit. I don't know. I think they are. To be honest, like, we just got out of a van about 10 minutes ago and we've been in the seven hour journey from Sunderland, so I still haven't taken my coat off, but um, I'm sure there's ace bands playing all over the place. That's a, a, the, the good thing about Camden Call is you never, you know, two minute walk from seeing a band you've never seen before and it could be your new favourite band, which is exciting and brilliant for the, that band. You know? well, we're, we're from like, up north, so we're looking forward to see what all this new rave is about. To, like, yeah, yeah. Like. I'm hoping to go to the, uh, the good mixer and see Dim and all that. Men's wear up playing, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, just to finish, um, out of your band, oh, there's 44 venues on the Camden Crawl. Who would last the longest? A pint, a pint at each venue, yeah. Yeah, yeah Stephen Dennis, the bass player, would um, would drink every, anyone under the table. And all 44? Uh, yeah, easily. Not a, and then whinge that there was no more venues. Yeah, yeah, so. and then being a huff. Did reverse. Yeah, and even if you got everyone for free, you it's not. It's not, a, it's not some kind of badge with Dennis, like he's, um, he just, he's getting drink, that boy. Yeah, he can drink. We're going to get rid of him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Cheers, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.